Hey everybody, it's Brad. And I'm Krista. With the Big Family Homestead. Okay, this video is on how to build a chicken slash rabbit slash small critter Tra tractor. Mm -hmm. Now we know there's lots of other videos out there. As a matter of fact, we have two other videos out there on the rabbit slash chicken slash tractor. But everybody shows you critter. the completed thing. Right, they don't usually show you step by step. And today, that's what you get to see, our step-by-step. -step. That's right. And I'll be holding the camera a lot, so mm -hmm. she'll be the, the main hostess. <laughs> All right, here we go. All right, next, we're going to take one of these little doohickey drill them or bobbers. Yeah, and I don't know, that's technical. Technical term. Make our holes that the uh, PVC is going to go right down into. Take note here real quick. Brad is wearing brand new jeans. It seems like every time he puts on brand new jeans, we do a Let's project Let's get back to the tutorial, outside. please. Tutorial down here. Down here. <laughs> Eyes down here. So now what you're going to do is you're going to put holes in these PVC pipe to go all the way through uh, so that these don't swing back and forth and sway. So here, we're going to go ahead and do this. Have fun. Thanks. Okay, next, uh, the holes that were scored are not actually quite wide enough. So you actually got to take a drill and drill it out. Just like that, you just go slow. And you may ask yourself, why didn't you do that in the first place? And I'll tell you in a sec. Yeah. The reason why is it kind of flops all over and wobbles all over, and you want to kind of get this thing straightened out the right way, or else it's all wonky when you put it together. So that's why we kind of put the ribs on here first, score them, well, not score them, melt them a little bit, then drill them. That's why. And mom's going to show you how we put them together. All right, you could use uh, machine screws, washer, uh, wall, uh, wing nuts, screws, uh, whatever. We're going to go uh, zip ties because we're wanting to do this on the cheap. So we're just going to go through. Whoops, where'd it go? Having a hard time? I can't, I can't find it. Do you need me to give you assistance? There it is. Yay. Silly goose. And then you actually go through the center, but then you're also gonna go around this side and that side. Mm -hmm. And why? Because they're cheap and it gives you just a little bit more stability. Yep. Okay, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and affix a roost um, on here so that they're not sitting on the ground at night. And, and that can really be anything, can't it? It can be anything. I found some scrap pieces of wood um, over in the corner there and I screwed them together um, because it, it really I didn't want to use a full length of wood for this so there you go. Um, I'm just gonna put it here in the center so it's not too close to the back and uh, doesn't have screw. to be perfect doesn't have to be doesn't have to be beautiful it's you're not building effective. a church nope all right now next we're gonna put some angled pieces some 45s on here so that uh, it just, the base doesn't wobble when we move it around. Next, we're going to skin it with our chicken wire and uh, we're going to use our handy dandy little uh, battery powered stapler here, which I absolutely love. All right, so now that we've got this skinned, uh, we're going to work on the door and we're just going to use the same PVC pipe um, and use some elbows and just cut it to uh, a rectangle size. It will be taller than this, but that's really okay. You can make an angled door if you'd like, where it's curved. Uh, we just, I didn't do that, I made a rectangle. That's all right. <laughs> so you're gonna do halvesies. You basically halvesies. put a piece of pipe there. This is to attach, we ran out of chicken wire and I didn't wanna go and buy anymore. So we uh, uh, have this that we're going to make do with. 
and um, I've got a little bit of chicken wire that we'll put towards on the bottom to keep the chicks in and rodents out. But um, yeah, so this, have these, and then this side is the door. All right, we'll show you the, the door, and then we'll show you it fully assembled. Yep. The door that's going to swivel and or swing. Yeah. All right, so here's the door. We skinned it with the uh, chicken wire, zip tied it on here, um, and I have a T here. And for the reason for this T is so that this part will be inside the uh, wood frame here so that we have a swivel. And then it'll also It will be zip tied, it will hinge up here. Yeah, I just haven't, I haven't manufactured that yet. Almost there, yeah, almost, almost there. there. So yeah, it doesn't close just yet. We've got some wire here in the way, but we'll, we'll push that back in and, and get that set up against there. All right, now, one of the last things is we're fastening the tarp on top. You could use whatever kind of material you have access to, but we had an old tarp that um, didn't cost us anything. You could use whatever the heck you want, but this was easy and we're stapling it right to the frame. All right, cool. so here it is, completed uh, Sans Chicks. DIY Easy Peasy Lemon Squeezy. Yes, DIY Easy Peasy Lemon Squeezy. Yeah, all right, and that one back there, Looks like she wants to get in here and try it out. I think she's offended that it's here. She does not like things in her zone. No, she doesn't like anything new either. So, can do this, it's easy. Yep. Um, I mean, we had to buy the boards down there, but just about everything else we had on hand. Mm -hmm. And uh, so, if you didn't have to buy the boards, if you just had the two by fours and stuff, you could probably put this together for less than 40 bucks. Probably. So, anyway, I'm Brad. I'm Krista. I'm back here. Yeah. You guys have an amazing and blessed day.